Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on tonight's episode, we are going to be playing my Ranger, as you can see right here in front of me. Uh, we also do have uh, Chupacabra on the phone, or with the call us, I should say. Uh, but he is AFK at the moment, and he will be uh, coming back at some point. So you may guys uh, hear him uh, on this episode. But this is my level 1 Ranger. I went ahead and made him. He is, uh, you know named ranger I, i'm kind of actually surprised that i got that name but i definitely did which i'm uh, i'm very happy about so i went ahead and outfitted him with a little bit of stuff and i am streaming this to twitch for the very first time I've never streamed to twitch so we may have uh, some some guests on some people asking us uh, little questions here and there and i will definitely answer those as we get to them so if you guys are wondering who I'm talking to that's uh, that's gonna be a thing now we have some pretty good stuff on this guy uh, bone leg plants are pretty much the uh, or leg plates I should say are pretty much the only thing on this guy that aren't the greatest they have the negative four agility but I did get these uh, serpentine bracers over in uh, lower guck the other day which are really really nice three dexterity nine agility and uh, one AC I got two of those and as far as like the other things go I mean this thing is the dragon hide mantle which is not too bad also uh, we got uh, 10 hit HP 10 mana 6 AC so like I said it's not fantastic but it definitely uh, adds to the characters overall uh, ability to stay alive we also got uh, 8 damage 23 delay this is the dragon horn of Yakesha I got this in Seb the other day as well so most of this stuff I have picked up myself and uh, didn't just go out and buy it but I don't have anything against people who do I just you know have been collecting a lot of gear and now I can actually use it so this is a cracked uh, dark wood shield 12 AC 9 strength and you know we're, we're gonna go out there and start getting into some fights guys we're gonna go see if we can kill some stuff <laughs> and I guarantee you we're gonna be able to because not only am I uh, really uh, outfitted but I also have some really nice buffs on at the moment so we're gonna do what we can now I didn't even know these guys got taunt I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways I guess they don't got bash though let me look at that let me see what his his stuff is uh, by wound forge hide since heading tracking fishing begging taunt uh, and inspect well you know this is a a new experience for me because I've never played a ranger before so this is this is gonna be kind of fun ooh Cinnamon sticks? I think they're cinnamon sticks. I hope they are. Oh, yes, they are. This is a mill. Well, they need to be the very, very last slot on my stuff right now because I need cinnamon sticks on my uh, my cleric to, to make food, and they sell for a decent amount. So if I'm going to be over here, I want to make sure that those do not get eaten for regular food. Uh, I think Forge takes something like 2 minutes and 30 seconds or something like that to come back, somebody was telling me. I've never really used it all that much myself, so I have absolutely no clue on that one. You can see right now, <coughs> sorry guys, that my piercing is going up, and so is my defense. So I am the lowest you can possibly be on my stats, and that's why I'm not doing as much damage you guys may you know, expect me to be able to do with uh, the gear that I have. Now, I do have other weapons on me. As you guys probably saw in that backpack right there, I have other ones to choose from. I have two ebony bladed swords. Those are from Lower Guck that we've uh, picked up before. And then I have the uh, Bloodstained Fang, which is, eh, you know, it's okay. It's not the greatest, but like I said, I had a lot of this stuff on my main and it's just kind of been sitting in the bank. We are going to be giving away stuff in the newbie giveaway and actually have some stuff on me to do just that uh, over here at the you know this region if i see anybody who happens to be pretty low on on equipment that i feel you know could could benefit from it as we start grouping i'm definitely going to go ahead and just uh, toss them some stuff but this is uh, this is more of like little gifts here and there the newbie giveaway that we're going to be doing down the road going to have a lot more stuff and i actually got one viewer watching right now guys uh, if you're joining right now i am shooting a, a video for my normal youtube channel which is who i'm talking to but you guys are more than welcome to ask questions and uh, let me know what you guys think of the the video. But I'm hunting over here with my ranger, and we're just uh, we're killing some stuff. Newbie ranger for the very first time. Never played a ranger in the past, so I am completely and totally brand new to these guys, and I'm loving it so far. But you know what, what's not to love? He, uh, he oh wow, this dude you know forges incredibly well. I have on my uh, my monk. He's a lizard monk, and, you know, I have the forge ability on him. 
almost never use it because he never forges anything, it seems like. So I don't know if there's a, a difference in the ability versus certain classes or what, but this guy is definitely up there with uh, one of my friends who happens to be playing a druid. Seems like every single time he's in a zone, he just gets so much food that his backpacks are literally overflowing with the stuff. So maybe because he is half half druid, you know, in a sense that uh, he kind of picked up that ability. I know his track is supposed to be better than anybody else's in the game, which is one of the primary reasons I made him. You know, I was, uh, what was it, like two weeks ago, I was trying to put together a group of people to help uh, the guild, the main two guilds that I'm in, which is uh, Blackheart Pirates and the Kittens Who Say Meow. I was just trying to put a guild together, or a group together, to go get uh, Seb Keys for all the alts that needed it. Uh, you know, it's something you do have to do from time to time, just because, you know, with your mains, obviously everybody has one, but as you start leveling up your alts, it's nice to be able to go back over there, but not very many people do it. So, yeah, I figured I'd, you know, I'd go ahead and put one together. There we go, Ding level two, guys. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and put one together and, and uh, you know, try to go over there and get their stuff. However, you need a tracker of some sort, and no trackers were on. Nobody was doing anything in the zone. And by by luck, we happened to be able to procure a bar to help us get the stuff in there. But uh, normally, the tracker is the thing that's kind of holding you up. And if you can't find one, that's pretty much it. Like, we had all the other classes. We had, like, four clerics and enchanters and warriors and everything else, but just nobody who could track uh, really worth worth a darn. I mean, we did have one druid, but, you know, his tracking skill, and he tried because he was, you know, quite low. I think he was, you know, 30-something or whatever, which is very, very low for that zone. If you go out in that zone at 30-something, you're going to get wrecked. You go out that zone at 50-something, you can get wrecked. There's a lot of roamers in that zone that will just eat your face, and they just keep piling on again and again and again. And they don't seem like they run incredibly fast, but they run fast enough. So if you're trying to get away and the zone being as big and kind of as confusing as it is for some people, you could uh, quite easily get lost and die out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, that's just uh, it's nasty to try to find your corpse and get back in there. So yeah, thankfully, we didn't really run into that issue uh, with the Druid. But he did kind of uh, skate around the walls. And we did have some protection with him to kind of go off and see if he could find one. And he did find one, you know, but it took him about 20 minutes to do it. And with, uh, you know, 20 or 30 of us wanting to, to get keys for our ults, that's just not practical, you know. So we really needed help. And we just, we, like I said, we, we finally found it, but not on a, a predictable scale. And if I want to be able to do that again in the past, I need a tracker of some sort. So I was like, you know, I'll just go ahead and make a ranger. Uh, they're the best trackers that I've ever heard about. Beyond that, they get a lot of flack from a lot of people about uh, not being great at any one particular thing. You know, they're they're not great DPS. They're not great at tanking. Uh, they're not really great with any other buffs or or you know heal spells or anything like that. So and they are usually the ones people make fun of. Uh, if somebody has to take a harm touch or a death touch, then the ranger are the sacrificial lambs. You know, I've always found it hilarious, but having never played one, I couldn't quite um, couldn't quite grasp why they're being made fun of so much. Yeah, I could see it in groups that they don't bring a lot to the table, or really anything to the table compared to any one of the the pure casters or classes out there. You know, if you're going to have a druid, he's going to be a, you know so much better than a, a ranger. If you're going to have a, a paladin or a shadow knight, one of the hybrid classes, just like this guy is supposed to be, uh, they bring a lot more to the table than this guy. Or if you're going to have a you know a pure one, like a warrior, he definitely brings a lot more to the table. So it's just, it's kind of uh, it's kind of funny, but I definitely wanted to experience for myself and see exactly what it had to offer. But right now we're pretty low. So, you know, there's not a whole lot of difference, not a whole lot of stuff going on with it. Wow, look at that. Again, we got another one of these. This is nuts. I am, I am, I, do those level, I mean, does Forge level up or do you just start? at like the lowest possible skill point because if you do then that's where i am and i'm still forging stuff non-stop so i'm i'm digging it i'm definitely liking it. i'm not looting anything by the way guys uh, just because these guys don't really drop anything that i want or that you can make money off of uh for the most part yeah the wolves will drop uh, quality pelts whether medium or high quality or even the low quality ones can be sold to people and the bone chips uh, definitely can be used 
for necromancers or even shadow knights on the rare occasions that they actually want to summon one of their pets. But, you know, for me, I'm not going to say that I have tons and tons of money because I definitely don't. But I don't know if I ne necessarily want to uh, to weigh my guy down with a bunch of uh, copper and pretty much copper at this level. I don't think you're going to get very much more than than copper. And we got a few more a uh, few more people watching, which is kind of cool, guys. This is, like I said, my very first time twitching. So if the video is not coming out very well or is getting laggy or something, uh, definitely let me know. Of course, I am recording this again for uh, my YouTube channel. So all your comments that I answer will go on to there. But uh, it's just uh, it's kind of cool in the zone. I remember this zone from way back when. And the music alone, I know I've, I've gotten comments in the past on some of my other alts when I play over here. And, you know, they're like, that, one of the reasons they never wanted to hunt over here was the sound effects in this zone. The, the music they're constant, constantly playing. And I like it. I like it. It's not quite as memorable as uh, the, the forest over there next to the Dark Elf City. But it, it is still like fond memories. Ooh, okay, let's see. Can we take on a will-o'-wisp uh if i can click on it sure be able to do it i do oh that's red yeah that's, that's gonna wreck my face i think i'm gonna stay away from that one i am uh, quite outfitted but does it necessarily mean i want to die right away i do have a lot of druid buffs on right now because i have my friend chupa over here who is semi afk he's kind of doing some stuff and he may join me on uh, on comms later on but yeah <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh you know, that my guy is over here just uh, kicking some serious butt just not too long ago. Like, I've only started uh, playing on this server about a year, year and a half ago. And I can still remember what it was like to come over here with my cleric, which is the first character I made coming back to the server. Uh, you know, back in the day, my very first character in EverQuest was a Shadow Knight. And so I started over there in the, the Dark Elf City. I believe uh, Neck Forest is, uh, is the name of the forest now can't remember anymore but uh it has a unique vibe to it it has the creepy noise going on in the background if you want like that halloween vibe it definitely is the place for you it's i think the the best creepy zone out of all of them even the lizard city doesn't really compete with the creepiness of the dark elves uh, and if you go inside their town the town kind of keeps it up although it does have uh as some people have referred to it a disco feel because they do have like these neon lights in there which is really weird, but uh, at the same time, very cool. Like, that was beautiful, beautiful graphics back in the day. And to me, it still holds a certain charm, you know? Like, I, I see people talk about Minecraft, and Minecraft is very blocky and stuff. I like it, you know? I definitely like it, but is it, like, fantastic graphics? And the answer is obviously no, it's not. And yet, still, there's there's something about it that draws people in and, and you know, grabs a hold of them. And that's kind of like what this is for me. I know I've seen other people who have um, never played the game back in the day. And so they don't have that fondness, those memories like uh, some of us might have. But then at the same time, they they come to the game and they're like, oh, this is a cool game. But the graphics, man, like really? Like these are old graphics. I don't see it that way. But maybe it's because I played it when it first came out. And when it first came out, this was like by far the coolest thing I had ever seen. The graphics were just, you know, miles ahead of any of the other games out there. One of the first uh, three-dimensional games that I've ever got to experience, that I ever went to and uh, kind of checked out. Now, I do, like I said, this is my first time doing the stream, and one of the options in there was something like you had to confirm your email address or something like that so you could post uh, a message. I didn't know if that was a good idea. It was the default. So I didn't know if that was a good idea to put that in there or not. That may be why none of you guys are able to uh, to comment if you uh, are, you know, watching on a, uh, you know, a uh, an account that's not confirmed or something like that. I may end up going ahead and removing that, that little aspect about it. But it, uh, like I said, it was the default. And being the first time, I just went with what the the program or what the, the site recommended. So... Again, I do apologize if you guys are trying to comment and you're like, oh, it doesn't let me. What did you guys do? Block it? Uh, that's the only thing I can possibly think of that might be blocking you. Other than I have the filters on. So if you guys are trying to type uh, certain words that are offensive to some people, uh, those will get blocked. But the rest of the message should come through just fine. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's... For me, the Shadow Knight was 
the class I was most interested in when I first started because it was actually this this game was a gift to one of my older brothers for his birthday and I remember him coming home with it uh, because I was quite young at the time and I think it was 14 or 15 or something like that and he came home with it and showed it to me and he had a, a book you know it came with a, a player's guide so he was trying to get it all set up and he misread something along the way and he thought it took 24 hours for them to send him a com confirmation of his account being created and the password and all that other stuff. And so we were like, oh, I was, actually for me anyways, I was like, I don't want to wait a whole day to play, right? You guys got it here. And he's like, yeah, we got to wait. So I went ahead and just uh, took the, the player's guide because he didn't, he didn't uh, want to read it at the time. And I was like, I'll just go lay down on the couch and, and start reading this thing because this looks like the coolest game ever. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And so I was looking through the player's guide and going through and, and reading it from, from cover to cover, basically. And I skipped over the first few chapters on, like, getting started, you know. And I just I went straight to the races and the classes. And my eyes instantly went to uh, the Dark Elves. And I was like, oh, the Dark Elves sound creepy. I want to do that whole role-playing aspect to the game, which I don't see too many people doing on this server at the time, you know, or... At this time, anyways. Back in the day, there was a lot of role players, uh, people sitting in front of the bank with their trolls or ogres and blocking it and be like, me too big to get up, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, I definitely found that hilarious. A lot more a lot more hilarious than uh, most people did who were just annoyed by it. But as a Shadow Knight, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a sense of humor because you're gonna die a lot. And if you can't laugh at crazy, stupid stuff that's gonna happen to you, you're not going to last too long in that, that class. You're going to die so much from just random crap that makes no sense. And uh, you got to be able to laugh about it. You got to be able to be like, I don't know just what happened, guys, but I'm on my way back. It's going to take me 25 minutes to run clear across the continent to get back to that zone. And I'm just I'm laughing my, my, my butt off the whole way there because uh, otherwise I'd be angry about it. And that's, you know, a 25, 30 minute trip that I'm going to be angry and then get back and not want to play, not want to, no, no, you can't do it. it, just, it won't work for you, but, yeah, I went through the, the book, and I started reading the different classes, and Shadow Knight just, uh, for some reason, it appealed to me, it just seemed like something I might like to do, from my experience, having a caster was one of the harder things to do in an RPG, that was something you kind of did your second or maybe third time around, because casters were very weak in the sense that they couldn't take hits, and they could do massive amounts of damage, but only once you knew how to play them, like what they could do and what they couldn't do. And so your first time around, you played like a warrior, and that way you could kind of learn um, a little bit easier. Like you're going to have a little bit more leeway in taking that damage, and maybe slower, because you're going to have to wait for your life to go back up and things of that sort, but you definitely aren't going to die as much. With a caster, kind of unforgiving, you know, like that was more of the the expert or, you know, mid-range kind of class to play. So I was kind of interested in playing a wizard or a mage or something like that, but, you know, knowing what I had known about RPGs at the time, I was like, no, no, I'll go with the tank. And the Shadow Knight was a combination of the two, which I thought was a unique thing. At the time, I hadn't seen that in too many games where I could be a tank and a caster at the same time. And I was like, that just sounds like uber, right? And I was like, okay, maybe a paladin, right? Because a paladin, he also has some spells, but... He was more on the good side, and I don't know, that day I was feeling more of like, I want to go evil, right? Like, I'm not like evil, evil, where I just go out and troll people, but I was like, I want to be like that evil race that is just uh, like the bane of all the other races and isn't liked by any of them. Because I used to play RTSs quite a bit, you know, the real-time strategy games for like Command and Conquer, and War, uh, Warcraft, and uh, Dune way back when. <laughs> I loved Dune. Dune was a... An amazing game when it first came out. Uh, it still is to this day. I kind of went back and played it not too long ago. And now, obviously, the graphics are dated and stuff, but the game itself is still really fun. But yeah, so I, I knew, uh, you know, from playing RTS is that. Uh, hold on a second, let me get this spider. <laughs> the, uh, the you know, um, I had no idea where I was going with that. I completely spaced out on what I was saying. I do apologize, guys, but. I'm trying to like think and uh, make sure my guy is is killing things that he needs to. Oh, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. That is nuts. Um, but yeah, with my Shadow Knight, I really had a good time playing him. It's just when I when I, I was trying to find groups with him a lot of the time, and I couldn't. 
I couldn't find any groups whatsoever because the server for one was pretty crowded. There's a lot of people coming to it and groups were, you know, they were there, but you, you had to wait for a little while to get to them. And I definitely was willing to, to put the, the time in. However, being a hybrid class, and at the time, Sony wasn't too fond of the Shadow Knights, apparently. They they didn't give very much love to them, and because of that, a lot of groups were kind of like, you know, we have our pick, right? You know, there's 30 people sitting here waiting for our group, and, you know, two of them are warriors, and, you know, the other ones are, you know, this class and that class. Even the Paladins got a little bit more love than we did, it seemed like, so... Yeah, when you when you were on the list, you kind of got passed up quite a bit. Like if you were the only one on the list, you probably get it. But that never happened, right? So the really important classes, obviously, like the clerics and the enchanters. I say really important, uh, not in the sense that like they are just better classes, kind of are in some some senses, but really important as in they're they're key classes you have to have for a group. You know, oh there we go, level three already. Wow, we are just booking it through the zone, and I haven't even looked up about my life. Just because uh, I know my gear is, is just way, way overpowered for these creatures. And plus, uh, you know, the buffs I have on me are going to make me where I can't die, really. Unless I get stupid and start attacking reds, which I haven't done just yet. So, I think I'm going to wait until about level 5 before I start taking on Will-O-Wisp. If you do take on Will-O-Wisp, guys, just a little tip uh, for, for those of you who are, like, brand new to the game but never played it before. They drop light stones. And, of course, they have different versions of light stone, stones. The burned out light stones, which are... Uh, completely worthless. They don't even give off any light whatsoever. They also have regular light stones, which are a pretty good light source, as you can imagine, because it's a light stone. And it is worth a little bit, I believe, to a, a vendor. And then they have the greater light stones, and those can be turned in over in uh, the Karanas at the Gypsy Camp. And you give them a greater light stone, and he gives you a book. The book is something you can sell to a, a vendor, and I believe it's worth like 10 or 11 platinum. It's, that's a lot of money at this level. 10 or 11 platinum is crazy cash for a newbie. Uh, you got to buy your spells and things of that sort. And I believe rangers don't get their spells for some time. I know with my Shadow Knight, it was like level 9. I think it's the same thing for a Paladin. Level 9 is the very first level you get your spells. However, if you're playing another class such as a Cleric, uh, you get spells at level 1. You get spells at level 4. Uh, you know, you get quite a few spells here and there. I think the most expensive class I ever played uh, happened to be a, a mage or enchanter. Those guys have tons and tons of spells, obviously with uh, pets and things of that sort. So uh, you gotta you gotta stay, you know, up on uh, on what's going on. You gotta make sure that you take into account how much money you're gonna be spending as you go through the levels and fight the right creatures for it. Because if you're just uh, leveling up like I am and you're not uh, looting or you're not getting enough loot off of the mobs you're killing, then your chances are you're going to level up a lot faster than you can buy the spells. And that really sucks to go to, you know, a place where you just get massive amounts of experience, but when you come out of there, you're still poor and there's like 15, 20, 30 spells that you need and you're not able to get them. That does mean that you're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to choose what is most important in that new spell list. Uh, for, for the cleric, I remember having to do this just a little bit, not too often, and it was mainly just, uh, I need my heal spell. Like, that is always the first thing you want to get as a cleric. You want to get your new heal spell, maybe the new buffs, if you can afford them. The buffs are, you know, something nice to get. Oh, we got another another skeleton right there. They are social. Actually, I think they're just aggro, period. If you run right by them, and they used to be a lot more aggro than they are now, but, yeah, they definitely will kind of... Uh, come at you and try to take you out let's see rusty dagger now we're gonna pick that up Ooh, yeah we'll take some we'll take some ale now ale by the way guys is something you can drink and it will actually give you a little bit more strength if you look at it we got 99 strength it probably won't affect me too much yeah it's the second drink that's going to give it to you but uh, you will get better in your alcohol tolerance this is something you do have to build up so if you've never drinking uh drinking if you never have uh you know gotten a drink a drink. Yeah, never gotten a drink, guys, of uh, alcohol, then chances are your alcohol tolerance is going to be really, really low, one or zero uh, in that regard, and you're going to take a big hit depending on the type of alcohol. There are stronger alcohols out there for sure, and if you drink one of the big ones, 
and you're uh, you're a low level, you're gonna take uh, you're gonna get drunk, and your vision is going to blur. Your guy's gonna sway from side to side. I was working on my brewing skill with my cleric, and I got him all the way up to like uh, 198 or something like that, close to the 200s. And I was like, okay, I can stop here for a little while. But I had made I don't know like 150, 160 you know, different, uh, brews for him. And because I had all that stuff on him and it was taking up space in his backpacks, I was like, you know, I'm just going to give this to one of my friends, uh, Thum, he's a warrior. Doesn't have to worry about lowering his intel or his wisdom, which is what will happen. You also will lower your charisma, which is not really that big of a thing unless you happen to be a class that relies on it, such as an enchanter or even a paladin. You know, those two classes definitely have to either lull or charm creatures, mesm. Uh, I don't think mesing really affects um, uh, the the charisma anyway, but you know, lawing thing uh, things definitely do. And the shadow knight, he can feign death. That that's his way of pulling singles. And the paladin, he has to law things, and the way he has to do it is casting a spell on an enemy, and then having that enemy. I think I should loot these orcs. Actually, I don't think any of them are going to drop the belts, but there's. There's a good chance that maybe one of them might. Can't quite loot that, can I? There we go. Ah, oh, and more alcohol. Okay, so let's give this a shot. There you go. 99 to 100. And my guy is definitely a little drunk right there. He is swaying from side to side. So, uh, yeah, and he didn't go up in any of his skills. So this is going to make things a little bit more difficult when it comes to actually attacking. Again, you got to be careful about that. But a uh, mistake that a lot of people made back in the day. And as long as you're not moving, you're perfectly fine at this point. But you continue to drink, and your guy's going to be doing this just standing still. So it's it's it sucks, right? It sucks really bad when that happens. If you continue to drink even after that point, your vision, like I said, will start to narrow, and the screen itself will start to uh, kind of zoom in around you. There is one other aspect to this that most people will not know about, because you don't really get to see it on your side, is when you type a message. I will type a message in group and say, you know, hey, uh, I'm drinking a little bit of alcohol here. My guy's a little drunk. On the other side of that, the group sees your message. If you are incredibly drunk, it comes out as like gibberish almost. If you are just slightly drunk, it adds misspellings into it just, uh, you know, just out of randomness. So it may seem like you are just really bad with spelling or you're hitting the wrong keys. When really, you are your character itself is just drunk. And I remember people, you know, and they still do it to this day. They're like, what? What are you talking about, right? And you reply back, and it's still gibberish. And they're like, what are you doing, right? And it's like, what I'm typing on my side is perfectly fine, right? I'm replying to your your comment. I can read your comment just fine. You're not drunk. Uh, my character, however, is. And uh, I can't reply back to you, not even in a tell. So... Well, you can reply in a tell. It's just going to come back as gibberish as well. So uh, that that could definitely, you know, uh, make communicating to your guild that, you know, if you're a puller, you got something incoming. And they're not going to know it's incoming. Like, they're not going to know what that is. However, the one thing I think it doesn't really interfere with is, like, brackets and quotation marks. And there you go. My my uh, my little buzz right there is, is already gone. Actually, I think he still has the buzz, which is probably... 99, no, he lost the the buzz on that one already. That was really quick, and he lost the little stats as well. That will change, though, as time goes on. Oh, are you back, man? What's up? Hey, man, welcome back. So uh, that is Chupacabra right there, guys. And uh, yeah, we have been playing over here on our Ranger a little bit. We did get quite a few views there for a little while, but I think they all left, so I'm not sure if, if they were having trouble uh, communicating with me. I did have one of the default things on where it was... Uh, they couldn't communicate unless they had a verified email address. That was like uh, that was a default uh, thing on there. I've never, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Like I just put it on there just because that was what it told me to do. So, uh, are maybe, you recording on YouTube by chance at the same time? I'm recording uh, on my my computer and then I'll upload to YouTube later on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Recording for YouTube. Um, it might be that too because I'm watching it right now on the stream and it's a little jumpy. Oh, is it? Well, you know, I'm recording at a high quality. That's why, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's a combination, trying to uh, balance the two together. Like YouTube, I have to record at a high quality for that, just because 
it gives you the option to lower the quality on your side when you watch it. Right. So if you're watching on, you know, a slower connection or something along those lines, you're st still able to lower the quality. If you're watching on a really good connection and you want max quality, then you have that option as well. But the only way I can give you that option is to record at max quality and then allow you to downgrade it if you want. Gotcha. You can't upgrade it. So I, it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to work too well on Steam but or Stream, but hopefully it will. Hopefully somebody out there has a, uh, a really good connection. Are you watching it right now? Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Okay, so you're the one viewer that I have at the moment. I, I had like I five. Subscribed. Oh, nice, man. I didn't get a notification for that. I, to... um, I think you have to set it up in order to get notifications whenever somebody follows you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like right now, it just it just froze for a good eight seconds. Uh, is it doing that on a regular basis? Yeah, it's it's choppy. And I think it's just because of the fact that you're uh, recording at the same time. Uh, recording at the same time or just uh, uploading at a high... High frame rate. So you're uploading? I thought you said you were recording for YouTube. Well, I'm recording on the computer, which shouldn't yeah. which shouldn't slow down the stream. But I am uh, render or not rendering, but uploading this at a, a high frame rate. Um, hmm. Because it's nineteen. I'm not sure. 19. I'm not sure if recording at the same time would slow down your processor. Maybe. Right. Maybe that's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't stream, so I'm not really sure. Well, my processor is only running at uh, twelve right now. Oh, wow, okay. So it must have something to do with uh, how fast you can download it while you watch it, but uh, we'll see. I mean, it really comes down to, uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, the people on YouTube will will uh, like it if I lower the quality down a little bit. I may just nah. end up having to do one or the other, you know, just yeah, doing... Yeah, I think uh, that's what it is, because most people, as far as I know, most people don't do both at the same time. Right, so they just do the Twitch or they do the YouTube videos. Yeah. Uh, I might end up doing that, guys. This may be... A one-time thing for a while. Although I know Sirkin, when he uh, does his videos, they come out looking beautiful, and he doesn't give me any lag. Of course, I have a really good connection, but I never never hear about anybody else doing lag on their side. So yeah, same. Whenever I watch Sirkin's, it's it's uh, it's seamless. It's pretty good. What size uh, resolution does he usually use? Because uh, for those of you who just joined us, guys, we're kind of talking about uh, the resolution and the the frame rate and things of that sort to get a better. Uh, stream on here because we do realize there's a little bit of uh, lag on some of your ends and it's we're brand new I haven't done any streaming before so this is uh, something I'm having to learn as we go along but yeah I'm not sure what he uses it's probably something later on that you can either check on the forums or just you know asking people here and there um, on Twitch itself to see what they use and what, what are you using right now to actually stream I'm using OBS which is what uh, a lot of people have used and Unfortunately, though, like I said, because I'm also saving this for YouTube, I'm using a high bit rate. I'm using 65,000, which is a lot oh, higher wow. than, than most people will ever use. You're way higher. Yeah, but, I, you know, I want, the, I want the quality, you know. Like, I don't mind the space. Space isn't actually that big. For about a 30-minute episode, it comes out to be, like, uh, I don't know, 8 gigs, which for me is not that bad. But wow. that, that's a lot of information to be uploading to to stream and having other people download that and watch it live so i think that might be where it's running into the issue yeah probably i think uh once you're done with this episode maybe you lower it down a little bit and see how it goes yeah so i think that's uh what we're gonna probably do here guys i think we're gonna go ahead in the episode and uh in the stream for now i will immediately go in there and change the settings so if you guys want to come back in a little bit and and check out the new episode hopefully the lag is a little bit better on your end are you seeing it live as we do it, or do you hear a little bit of a delay on? I have it muted, so I'm just listening to you over Skype. Oh, okay. But, but there is there's going to be a delay, though. All right, guys. Well, again, I want to thank you all for watching. If this is the first time you've seen my videos and you happen to like them, I am over on YouTube, and I got, I don't know, like eight, 900 videos of, of EverQuest for my journeys on pretty much all my characters from the beginning all the way to where they are right now. My cleric is level 53, so if you want to go back and see him as a newbie running through this exact same forest, uh, that is definitely a thing, and I had a blast doing it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy watching it. As always, I want to thank you again for watching. I'm AC Gamer, and we'll catch you next time. Subscribe.
Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kinda of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually, but for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.